I think women's history is every day because we're making history. You look around all the work that we're doing in our homes, in our communities, at the state and federal level. But we need to elevate women on a regular basis. And I think this month is an opportunity to really say, hey, we are here. Look what we've done. We stand with you and for you and by you. You know, look what Jan did at Glide. You know, standing side by side with CISO, you know, as a good partner, as an advocate, as a fighter for justice. Women need to be elevated every day, but to have a month that we can really shout out these, these triumphs over, 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 over trauma, these triumphs over tragedy, I think women are a great way to see the history of how far we've come. It's always my mother. I saw her come out of generational poverty and she was the catalyst for the transition of one generation out. Like all of her kids are out of poverty right now because of the, the work that she did, standing in food lines, making sure we had a proper education, making sure there were books in the home and we read and she would come and get us when we were too late hanging out at the basketball court. That was a woman that was determined to change the course for her children. And the three things I would say to them and that I continue to say to them is keep your work in front of you. You know, don't let money guide your passion. Your passion should guide where you want to go. And once you get into that role that you really feel um, passionate about, you thrive, right? The second thing is get training. Continue to elevate yourself. Learn more about your work. Learn more about what, what makes you go and understand what leadership qualities are um, so you can be the next president of the United States, right? That third thing is love what you do and have humor and have fun. Nothing is that serious. You have to bring humor into your work, even if it's finance, even if it's tech, right? Um, especially if it's nonprofit work. Love what you do, bring humor, because you are elevating people under you and behind you and inside of you all the time. And those are the three things I would say to someone that's just getting into their career, love it, get training, and keep your work in front of you.